The Heat Flow and Physical Properties Package is a science instrument on board the InSight lander that features a self-penetrating probe to determine how heat flows inside Mars. InSight landed on Mars on 26 November 2018. Referred to as a «self-hammering nail» and nicknamed «the Mole». It was designed to burrow as deep as 5 meters 16 feet below the Martian surface while trailing a tether with embedded heat sensors to measure how efficiently heat flows through Mars' core, and thus reveal unique information about the planet's interior and how it has evolved over time. The principal investigator is Tillman Spohn from the German Aerospace Center DLR. Topic Overview The mission aims to understand the origin and diversity of terrestrial planets. Information from the HP-3 heat flow package is expected to reveal whether Mars and Earth formed from the same material, and determine how active the interior of Mars is today. Together with the seismometer, the mission will estimate the size of Mars core and whether the core is liquid or solid. The vibrations generated by the mole in combination with cease will should also allow learning about the local subsurface. In addition to the mole, there is also an infrared radiometer HP3RAD mounted to the main saucer, also contributed by DLR. Topic Development HP3 was conceived by Gromov VV et al. in 1997, and first flown as the Pluto instrument on the failed 2003 Beagle 2 Mars lander mission. HP3 evolved further and it was proposed in 2001 for a mission to Mercury, in 2009 to the European Space Agency as part of the Humboldt payload on board the ExoMars lander, in 2010 for a mission to the Moon, and in 2011 it was proposed to NASA's Discovery Program as a payload for InSight Mars lander, known back then as GEMS Geophysical Monitoring Station. InSight was launched on the 5th of May 2018 and landed on the 26th of November 2018. The version flown to Mars is nicknamed the Mole and was designed to burrow as deep as 5 meters, 16 feet below the Martian surface to measure how efficiently heat flows through Mars' core and thus reveal unique information about the planet's interior and how it has evolved over time. HP3 was provided by the German Aerospace Center DLR, and the tractor mole portion of the instrument was perfected by the Polish company Astronica and the Space Research Center of the Polish Academy of Sciences under contract and in close cooperation with DLR. The principal investigator is Tillman Spohn from the German Aerospace Center. Deployment and operation The penetrator unit is designed to be placed near the lander in area about 3 meters long and 2 meters wide. The total mass of the system is approximately 3 kg and it consumes a maximum of 2 watts while the mole is active. For displacement, the mole uses a motor and a gearbox provided by Maxon Motor AG and a roller that periodically loads a spring connected to a rod that functions as a hammer. After release from the cam, the hammer accelerates downwards, eventually hitting the outer casing and causing its penetration through the regolith, whereas a suppressor mass travels upwards and its kinetic energy is compensated by gravitational potential and compression of a brake spring and wire helix on the opposite side of the mole. 
The burrowing mole is a pointed cylinder with a smooth outer surface approximately 35 cm in, in length and 3.5 cm in, in diameter. It contains a heater to determine thermal conductivity during descent, and it trails a tether equipped with precise heat sensors placed at 10 cm in intervals to measure the temperature profile of the subsurface. In principle, every 50 cm the probe puts out a pulse of heat and its sensors measure how the heat pulse changes with time. If the crust material is a thermal conductor, like metal, the pulse will decay quickly. The mole is first allowed to cool down for two days, then it is heated to about 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit over 24 hours. Temperature sensors within the mole measure how rapidly this happens, which tells scientists the thermal conductivity of the soil. Together, these measurements yield the rate of heat flowing from the interior. HP3 should take about 40 days to reach 5 meters 16 feet deep. As the mole burrows, it should also generate vibrations that CIS can detect and yield information about the Martian subsurface. Topic HP3 RAD infrared radiometer The HP3 includes a separate infrared radiometer for measuring surface temperatures, contributed by DLR and based on the MARA radiometer for the Hayabusa 2 mission. HP3 RAD uses thermopile detectors to measure three spectral bands, 8 to 14 micrometers, 16 to 19 micrometers and 7.8 to 9.6 micrometers. HP3 RAD has a mass of 120 grams, 4.23 ounces, about a quarter pound. The detector is protected by a removable cover during landing. The cover also serves as a calibration target for the instrument, supporting on-site calibration of the HP3 RAD. Background about infrared radiometers includes some important Mars science history. They were sent to Mars in 1969 as one of four major instruments on the Mariner 6 and Mariner 7 flyby spacecraft, and the observations helped to trigger a scientific revolution in Mars knowledge. The Mariner 6 and 7 infrared radiometer results showed that the atmosphere of Mars is composed mostly of carbon dioxide CO2, and they were also able to detect trace amounts water on the surface of Mars. See also Mini TES, an infrared instrument on the 2003 Mars Exploration Rovers